All right. So I just got back from my first uh, Phyrexia Olby one event. Um, so having played with the cards, I've got mixed feelings. Um, Toxic was fun uh, to play as. I would hate to be the poor soul that goes up against Toxic without Toxic. Um, you basically need token, the like counter removal. We're gonna need counter removal for a while. I guess in standard for sure. Standard's fucked. <laughs> um, I might actually play on Arena just to get ahead. Um, the, uh, there's a lot to unpack. Also, I found these slick sleeves. They're chintzy, but they, uh, you know, they're not the nicest quality, but hot damn, does that not make me laugh? Um, it's very apt. So I won my first one in a shutout by using Toxic. Uh, with Sealed, you make a deck, but you can change your deck in between rounds. And after three, two, com like, complete shutout losses, I pitched my white and green deck. It was mostly white. It had a splash of black. It just made a gruel stompy. And I did, I played better, but I didn't win. Um, so let's go through what I got. So for the date stamped promo, where it has, like, the year on it, I got Copperline Gorge in foil. Um, very pretty card. Uh, fairly useful in a sealed event, for sure. Um, kind of made me sad when I looked up the history for the Scars of Mirrodin, right? With its first printing, and here it is again, Phyrex New Phyrexia, which is Mirrodin. So there's a bit of lore, sad faces. Um, the only Phyrexian land that I got that was was the forest. He's worth 93 cents. I've already looked up the prices. Um, so you can just go through what I pulled. That was cool. Blue Sun's Twilight. That's a cool card. Um, Canker Bloom and Foil. Charge of the Mites was pretty useful. <clears throat> Copper long legs, you need reach, and there's there's an awful lot of flyers, but it was nice to have some reach. Um, this would be good for Commander, Cruel Grimnarch. Death Touch and Cruel Grimnarch enters the battlefield. Each opponent discards a card for each opponent who can't gain four life. Duels to Deep Faith was pretty nifty. As long as it's your turn, Duels to Deep Faith has first strike. Uh, it was useful. It's a cheaper card, 2-drop, two 2-2. Two, two. Uh, Duress is back as usual. Um, what's another one? I, uh, Flensing Raptor. I found that really useful when I started adding things to it. There's an enchantment in here that gives everything, like, is a thing plus 2 toxic. So this is toxic 3 flyer. I decided to shut a guy out in, like, 2 turns. Um... Furnace Strider wasn't too bad. You can give things haste, basically. You have two oil counters. <laughs> ah! Freaking goblins. Very interesting. Um, so I got a Black Sun Twilight. Um, but a guy was like, I need that one to complete all five, because he had five, all five of the regular ones. And he was like, you want one of my... Because he had two of the buy a box promo. And he knows I play Gruel Stompy. So I was like, sure, dude. And that is so cool looking. So this is the buy a box promo. Um, <clears throat> I got Corjadine for uh, Gold Warden. I didn't build a red, <clears throat> red white deck. I probably should have. Seemed pretty nifty. Um, I got Kato Dancing Shadow. Oh, I didn't use them. <sighs> Magmatic Sprinter is pretty cool. 
Haze to make experience the battlefield, put two oil counters and target artifact creature control. Beginning of your end step, returning experience back to its owner's hand unless you remove the two oil counters from it. So you can give something oil, comes back, give something oil, comes back. Using that to scale up really quickly. Um, yeah, enchanted creature is toxic too, enchanted creature dies. Yep, super useful. Offer immortality, this target creature gains death touch to under turn. Indestructible. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this art. I love the, the three tone, the black, the white, and the single color. You know, like the Sanu Dancer. This card is nifty. Whenever another creature control toxic attacks, gets plus one, plus one to unturn. Tab into completion. People were able to do some cool shit with this. Um, because you just draw cards with it. But I never got a real chance to use it. Um, so there's four of the dated promos this time round. Uh, Temple of the False God. Oh, shit, I can't remember what the other three are. My store only got one of two of them. Temple of the False God, they only got 19. And they got like 30 of the other one. I, I'll get, I'll, tomorrow... I'm trying to shotgun this video. It's Saturday night. Um, I'll try to get the other one up tomorrow. Um, I did not get... They gave out basically randomly to someone who stayed and played all five rounds. I didn't get it. Uh, they're going to do the same tomorrow for the fourth one. I don't think I'm going to get it. Um, it's the Italian one. I'm just going to have to buy them online. And since they're limited, it's going to be like an $80 card. I'm kind of pissed. But here we are. Um... Yeah. <sighs> I have like the 99, so I'm missing 2000, 2001, 2002. This is 2003. I'll add it to my thing. Terramorph Expanse, Testament Bearer, Dross Pits, Fair Basilica, Hunter Maze. These three lands are, are tapped, but you can also sacrifice them to draw a card if you need to. You can see some standard decks using them. Growth. I tried using them and eventually just kind of uh, Urbrass Forge, super useful. Um, everybody loved this card. Good deal. You basically be a count and bang, you turn put an oil counter on there and create an X1, X, an X1 creature, red, red Frex and Horror creature token with trample and haste. Um, <clears throat> and then sacrifice it, then ending next step. So basically, Every time you go to combat, it gets a plus one and it creates a an X, you know, so it's a one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one. I got up to eight. Eight one. It was getting pretty ugly. Um This one was nice. Flash enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. Corrupted as long as opponents three or more poison counters. Yeah. So overall, not bad card. Just the uh was a lot of synergy. Um, I'm probably going to make a toxic uh, commander deck for shits and giggles. I don't know. Going forward. I don't know. There's just a lot of unknown unknowns. About this set. Um, I've already put in a pre-order for a completed bundle on Amazon. Um, I'm going to see if I put one in for my store. Uh, I want to get the, I'm probably going to get the commander decks at some point too. Comically, last night, uh, for Friday Night Magic, actually I'll show you the guys. I got a, uh, they curled the other way. Too much moisture. Um, a pack. I have curled just in my car. Where I got like Unctus Grand Met Attack, Miglaw's Mage Crusher, which is kind of cool. I pulled the commander out of one of the commander decks, so I have an extra one. Uh, uh, that was for a trade. <clears throat> and then Friday Night Magic, they've run out of promo packs, so they're just giving us like random promos they have lying around. So yeah. I don't have debris in that sleeve.
Huh, weird. Ooh, that was moisture in the sleeve. Shit. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Overall, I might buy a collector's box because I want the alternate art stuff more than I want the regular art. <clears throat> um, I'm not hyped for the Frexine Lands as they are shown. I'm just not, I'm not jiving for lack of a better term. Um, <clears throat> the regular ones I think look better. <clears throat> Actually, what do I do with those? These are the lands I took. Like, there's the basic planes, full art. <laughs> um, I plan to get the regular bundle too, but they sold out. So, in forest and non foil, swamp, mountain. Yeah, so I guess I just need the non foil um, island. And I got the set. That's a fucking hella off print. Look at that, man. Wee. <clears throat> What's your twift that one? So yeah, I'll um We do another pre-release tomorrow. Um I'm gonna see if I can turn so so the The product number on this guy is NC two three two five one. Um, Solar Games said that his, he had a case of 15, the one that was NC23351, has Phyrexian die. Um, and his ones that didn't ended in 9-1. So if your, so if your shop pulls out a case, and they're willing to let you look at it, the one out of the 15 that has a different product number, well, the fancy Phyrexian die. And that's my goal tomorrow is to, I'll probably pick up another pre-release kit to just do an unboxing for you guys. Um, and we'll go through that together. Um, let's get the totals, switch over to show you guys the totals, get that, let me just get to my desk and do that part right. for you. So here is my results from the All Will Be One pre-release kit. Uh, at least the, 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 the totals, the prices, the whatever, we can get to it. Um, so the, pro, the 30th anniversary play promo I got was the 2003 Temple of the False God. Doesn't have a price yet. It's been reprinted a bunch. I don't expect it to have value, right? Even though there was only 19 of them at my shop, I don't think it's going to hold up. Um, which, if we're keeping track... That's this one from Scourge. Um, Exalted Angel was the other one, which I'll be getting tomorrow. Getting today, because I'm recording this at like one in the morning. Um, the uh, Vindicate and Corehaven. So the Corehaven was given out today. Tomorrow they're doing the Vindicate. Uh, they only got one of each of these two. So I think like loyal retainers, these are going to be expensive fucking cards most likely. Um, Vindicate isn't, you know, wasn't super, super, duper. Uh, let's see. Oh, her art's kind of cool. All right. <coughs> All right. So, like, Vindicate goes for, like, a couple of cents. So, even though they only produced one, this guy right here is 30 bucks. So, maybe, you know, I'm looking at like a $30 card, hopefully. Um, kind of like, like the Loyal Retainers. Um, so, like, a normal Loyal Retainers is, original is, like, 74 uh, Commander's Arsenal is 34. The Amatat shenanigans is like 56. So the, the, so the Chinese exclusive loyal retainers 
I'm not as surprised it's still hanging out around like 75 bucks, right? So I don't think Vindicate, um, based on that, I'm thinking Vindicate is gonna be around the $32 mark. Oh. Hold on. There's more here now. Oh, uh, so yeah, no. Okay. Um, which is in Italian. And then the other guy, Corhaven. $8 for the Nemesis printing, and the Zendikar Crazy printing is 38 So I'm guessing we'll be in the $50 ballpark. We'll see what prices. Um, probably the next, the March of Machines, I'll probably update this one. <clears throat> with those if I were able to get them in time. Um, Tales of Middle Earth. Um, yeah, any of these that have four to them? Seem really annoying, but here we are. Um, which... Uh, so far... Like, it's $90 here of shit with Loyal Retainers being 76 So all the other ones, including Temple of the False God, which doesn't have a price yet, but like $761, that one's holding up, dollar to $0.79, cents, $230, Sarah Angel $0.75. Cents. Man, I remember this bitch was like $85 when they first came out. So that's that part of it. But let's get to the actual Phyrexia stuff. Um... And so this is a pre-release event, so I kind of got off tangent. Um, Value-wise, most valuable card I've got is the 13... Is it really $13? What the fuck? Green Sun's Twilight. Oh, where's TCG player? <coughs> $7. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I traded it to a dude, because um, I got the Black Sun Twilight, and he need, uh, or and the, uh, my buddy needed it, and he was like, oh, do you want this? Like, I have three of it, because he has the, he had two of the buy box, and then one of the regular. And I was like, hell yeah! Right, because I don't want to buy a box of all we want at any point here in the near future. Um, I might want to get a collector's down the line if they're cheap, but... Okay, yeah, it lists median price. That's why it was showing so high. Um, so it's like a $7 card. But yeah, like, I did not get a lot of individual value here. Um, $35. Um, what did I get? I heard a dated promo. I don't know what the hell was it. Copperline Gorge. Which currently showing as a two dollar card. Um they don't have the date stamped one, so I'm guessing it'll be given that the Zendikar Horizons Expeditions non foil is six ninety nine or six eighty nine, I'm guessing it's gonna be a four to five dollar card. Um again, it's not in system yet. Actually, let's see here. Uh, if it's not in Moxfield, it means it's not in Scryfall, for those who are keeping track at home. Copperline Gorge. 249. All right, that's Copperline Gorge. 249. 249. <coughs> Art card. Rare. Promo pack. That's the promo pack one. Pre release card. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's going for 10. Near mint foil. I'm guessing it's a $10 card right now, but it's also pre-release season. So it's kind of a question mark. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, I got... So it's just a lot of cards that are at 20, 30 cents, and they've just added up. Which means, while yes, in pre-release season, I got what I paid for. Right, $25 box. I expect all these to crash hard. Because, uh, buck fifty nine for Kato, right? That's my third biggest card. Ninety two cents for the Frexian non foil forest. Uh, Eighty one cents. This is a good card. Like this is Titanic growth is hanging at forty cents. It's a common, right? Like there's some weird prices. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably swing back and check the prices of these later on. So, like, when I do, I, I pre-ordered a complete bundle. So, when I get that, we might be able to go see and check and do, see what's going on. Um, definitely down the line, I'll probably check these prices and see how they've actually shaken out. For right now, a pre-release kit pays for itself, but that's because everyone's fighting for cards in the pre-release for the pre-release market. Uh, actually, sort this by rarity. What did I actually get? Rare, 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 rare. So I got my six rares, no mythics. That sucks. And that was, again, I traded. So I guess I, I guess if I had the other one. So I guess I did pull two rares. Because this was a foil rare. And it replaces one in the pack. So yeah, I got seven rares. Um, overall, I had fun with the set. I don't know if no clue if the prices are going to hold up i have no 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 even forethought uh it's a standard set so it's basically what people can actually produce with it um planeswalkers people might be i don't know there's like six printings of every fucking planeswalker and if you get a collector's box you'll get like five i don't i don't know um Yeah. Probably a super useless fucking review, but, like, again, like, new set, doing new shit. Toxic's fun. Standard play, you're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to make things really weird. Or you're going to hate it. You're, you're just going to absolutely hate it. And with that, I thank you for paying attention to my rambles, and you have a good day.